brother teacher again I want to teach you maybe even remind some of you how to have good sex with your partner the real answer before I go into anything else is to make sure that both of you are pleased yes that's what I said if you both are having sex it's not about the man being satisfied only nor is it about the woman being satisfied only you both should be satisfied now if you're in a committed relationship and the man has an orgasm and his partner didn't have an orgasm someone was cheated if the female has an orgasm and the man does not have a chance to have an orgasm and she's been pleased or satisfied someone has been cheated so men you need to realize I know sometimes because of that angst or angst that we have as men and that uh, strength and that desire to conquer we have to learn how to take it slow take your time pay attention to your woman's body language and make sure that she's being pleased that she's being satisfied and wait until you see her about to have her orgasm and then you have your orgasm but don't get so in a hurry don't only think about yourself and be selfish and then you come or you have an ejaculation if you will and she's still laying there a lot of times because she loves you she may not say anything about it but really you have allowed her to not be pleased and you walk away from it gratified it's not a good thing and the same thing is true ladies if you have an orgasm and your man hasn't don't get up out the bed and try to leave don't uh, become disinterested in the act let him have his pleasure he can still have an orgasm because you have an orifice right and all he has to do is finish so make sure that you have an amiable relationship a relationship that's closely knit psychologically emotionally that you know that both of you need to be satisfied not just one of you and this will save you down the road from having resentment against one or the other it's really that simple now if you want to have fellatio or uh, how should I say <laughs> oral sex that's between you and your partner if your partner doesn't enjoy that it's okay you should never force that on your partner but you probably should at least try to experiment with it and try it don't just be turned away from it either of you because you're old-fashioned or you think from the old school or what have you your partner has things that they might want to try out themselves I'm not saying hang from the chandelier and try to have sex uh, it, or anything of that sort I'm saying make sure that if you're not doing a certain thing that your partner may indeed enjoy maybe you just ought to try it and that's either for the man or for the woman now I believe in conventional sex I don't believe in obscure things you know I don't believe in things where you have to do something out of that thing which is nature or natural I should say ordinary sex means to me uh, peno penetration to not excuse me vagina penis vagina that goes together now there's some people might like the anal thing I'm from the old school I'm sorry I believe in natural sex if you like that that's your thing I'm not judging you but do what makes you happy in your relationship at the end of the day this is what I'm trying to get you to understand make your partner happy make sure that both of you all are happy okay this is brother teacher and you know I love you alright so long